For the past 3.5 billion years, the oceans have witnessed the rise and fall of countless marine creatures. Among these marine creatures is the Leviathan Melvilli. 12 million years ago during the Miocene Epoch, this prehistoric giant roamed the oceans. It is one of the largest and the most dangerous marine predators the oceans have ever known. In the year 2008, a team of paleontologists led by Dr. Olivier Lambert stumbled upon a fossilized remains of an enormous predator in the Pisco Formation of Southern Peru, a region famous for its rich fossil deposits. This fossil would later be identified as a new species of a prehistoric sperm whale, specifically the Leviathan. The genus name pays an honor to the legacy of Herman Melville, who penned one of the greatest stories of the sea, Moby Dick. The Leviathan belongs to a family of sperm whales known as the Physeteridae, which includes the modern sperm whale. However, Leviathan Melvilli was distinct from its modern relatives in several key ways. One of the most striking differences was its size. Now, modern sperm whales are among the largest animals on Earth, yet Leviathan Melvilli surpassed them in sheer size. Estimates suggest that some of the largest individual Leviathans could reach lengths of up to 65 feet, making it a true giant of the seas. Leviathan Melvilli possessed a formidable set of physical body features, which made it different from modern sperm whales. One of the most notable features was its enormous teeth. Unlike the small teeth of modern sperm whales, Leviathan Melvilli boasted massive teeth that could reach over one foot in length and sometimes grow over four inches wide. These teeth were sharp, conical and clearly adapted for capturing and killing large prey. The presence of these formidable teeth suggests that Leviathan Melvilli was a hypercarnivorous predator, likely preying on large marine mammals such as seals, smaller whales and possibly even giant cephalopods. They are distinct from baleen whales, which have baleen plates instead of teeth and are also mostly filter feeders. Another distinctive feature was its robust jaw structure, which measured up to almost 10 feet in length, making it one of the largest known mammalian skulls. The jaws of Leviathan Melvilli were incredibly strong, allowing it to bite down on its prey with a tremendous force. A fully grown man would fit in the jaws of Leviathan. This adaptation suggests that Leviathan Melvilli was a top-tier predator in its ancient marine ecosystem. Researchers estimate that Leviathan Melvilli possessed one of the most powerful bites in the history of animals, surpassing even that of the Tyrannosaurus rex, the Tyrant Lizard King. Its bite force was calculated to be around 13,000 pounds per square inch. Leviathan Melvilli along with many other marine megafauna, went extinct during the late Miocene epoch. One of the most significant climate-related events of the Miocene was the Mycenaean salinity crisis. This period, approximately 5.9 to 5.3 million years ago, saw a drastic reduction in sea levels and the isolation of large water bodies. This event impacted the Mediterranean. Its effect had repercussions for marine ecosystems worldwide, including those inhabited by Leviathan Melvilli. Now, Leviathan Melvilli coexisted with another prehistoric giant of the seas, the Megalodon shark, another fearsome marine predator, and the largest shark species to have ever existed on planet Earth. The Megalodon, whose name means giant tooth, existed during the Cenozoic era, about 23 to 3.6 million years ago. This period, which encompasses the Miocene and the Pliocene epochs, was a time of significant geological and biological change. The oceans were teeming with diverse marine life, providing the Megalodon with an abundant source of prey. The Megalodon is estimated to have reached lengths of up to 65 to 82 feet or more and weigh over 70,000 kilograms, making it one of the largest predators in the history of planet Earth. Its teeth alone could be over 7 inches long, indicating the sheer magnitude of Megalodon. According to research, the Megalodon shark 
has the strongest bite in the history of animals. It has a bite force estimated to be about 39,600 pounds per square inch, a force that 360 bags of cement exerts on a surface. Their teeth were arranged in multiple rows, with the front rows acting as the cutting teeth, while the back rows were ready to replace any lost tooth. The megalodon's jaw was about 10 feet wide. The megalodon had several adaptations that made it highly efficient predator. Sharks in general have roamed the oceans for over 400 million years, making them one of the oldest and the most resilient species on Earth. The origins of sharks can be traced back to the late Silurian period, approximately 420 million years ago. During this time, the world's oceans were teeming with diverse marine life. During the Devonian period, some shark species began to grow larger and develop serrated teeth, setting the stage for their future dominance as top marine predators. Among these ancient giants was the Helicoprion. Currently, there are over 500 recognized species of sharks, and they are one of the most successful marine predators. Unlike most fishes, which have bony skeletons, sharks have a cartilaginous skeleton made of flexible cartilage, similar to the tissue found in the human nose and ear. This cartilaginous structure provides several advantages, including enhanced flexibility and reduced weight, allowing sharks to maintain their agility and speed. Sharks are renowned for their powerful jaws and rows of sharp razor teeth. They have a unique jaw structure that differs from most vertebrates. Instead of a fixed upper jaw, Sharks have upper and lower jaws that are only loosely connected by muscles and connective tissue. This arrangement allows them to elongate their jaws forward, creating a slingshot effect when striking at prey. Shark teeth are continuously replaced throughout their lives. In an entire lifetime, a single shark can shed over 30,000 teeth. This continuous tooth replacement ensures that sharks always have sharp functional teeth. About 3.6 million years ago, the megalodon shark became extinct. One of the leading theories about the extinction of the megalodon is attributed to the Earth's climate and the oceanic conditions. During the pliocene pleistocene transition, the planet entered a period of cooling and glaciation. The drop in sea temperatures had a profound impact on the megalodon's preferred prey, such as whales and seals. As their habitats shifted and the availability of prey decreased, megalodon populations declined drastically.